If you're looking for a quick, easy, almost sweat proof <laughs> holiday weekend look, stay tuned. Okay, so it's 4th of July weekend. I believe this is gonna go up the Friday before 4th of July. Happy 4th of July, everybody. And I started thinking what would be appropriate for a video on this day. And I thought of the red, white, and blue makeup. I could do blue eyeshadow and red lipstick, <laughs> but that just didn't seem quite right. So what I decided to do was a quick and easy, almost sweat proof, sort of sweat proof, makeup routine. And I say sort of sweat proof because it really does depend, guys. I know some people like myself, I actually don't sweat a lot. One of the reasons I don't do well in the heat, I don't cool down. <laughs> So I don't actually sweat a lot. I might pass out, but I don't sweat a lot. So that's not usually my problem. And my skin is dry anyway. Other people, friends of mine, uh, have oilier skin, they sweat more, or they have dry skin and they sweat more. So it really, you know, it is, as always, an individual thing. But I do have a couple of products that are things that I've actually gotten water sprayed at me and they stayed pretty much intact. So I think this is uh, some, some good choices. Nothing is gonna be completely foolproof, but these are relatively easy items to use and I think it'll give you the kind of look that will hopefully last for a couple of hours outside in the humidity, wherever you may be. So let's go ahead and get started. And again, this should be a pretty quick and easy look to put together. The first thing we're gonna use is the Sicily Tinted Sunscreen Cream. And I've mentioned this before, it's a uh, SPF of uh, 30. It's water resistant for 40 minutes. So basically, if you put it on, you're gonna have a better barrier to your skin um, than a lot of other products that are out there. My issue with this product is that it just doesn't come in very many shades. And this is one natural, and it's actually a little dark for me, but this is, the, this is the lightest shade that they have. I'm gonna pull back my hair actually. Excuse all the gray hair that you'll see, but um, it's only been four weeks. And it looks like I never got my hair done <laughs> because it grows so fast. So this is a tinted cream, like I said. It actually has a lot more coverage than what you would think of. That's why they call it a tinted cream not a tinted moisturizer. I tend to sort of put this on, as you're seeing, with my fingers and like rub it out a little bit. Um, if you want more full coverage, I would just put it on with a brush or put it on with your fingers and don't spread it out as much as I am because like I said, it will give you, it'll give you a lot of coverage. You'll see in a second. I use this on my eyelids as well like I said, we're going for a quick, easy, you know, we're gonna go to the park for the day, we're gonna be outside, whatever it is, and you don't wanna spend a ton of time on your makeup. So you can see it's pretty full coverage, um, for especially for a tinted moisturizer. It's not a tinted moisturizer, it's a tinted cream, but just so you guys know, I mean, it is, you can, I, I thinned it out, but you can make it as thick or as thin as you want to. Uh, I'm gonna do my eyebrows really quickly. And what I do for a day, like I said, that, you know, it's not really a, you're not looking for a made up look really. This is the ABH pencil. And again, this is for more of a natural, I'm not, you know, doing a lot of eye makeup look. If I were to wear a lot of eye makeup. I try to define my brows a little more, but right now for this look, it just, I don't overdraw them. Done, okay. See, easy so far. And in fact, if you have great brows and you don't have to do that at all, that's a step that you can take out right there. Um, then I go in with the By Terry Hyaluronic Acid, acid, I keep saying that. Hyaluronic Hydra Powder. I don't know why I keep saying acid. Um, and I'm going in with the new Wayne Goss brush. And I think I sh if you watch that video, um, I showed you this trick. All I do is just put a little bit of that powder on the brush 
and it works perfectly for the under eye area. It sets it. It doesn't settle into fine lines. You want to be very careful with that powder, in my opinion. Again, I have dry skin, but if you're not careful, you put too much on, it, it actually looks worse. If you use the right amount, it looks perfect and it will stay all day. I can use it on my face as well. And at the end of this, I'm actually going to use a setting spray. But if you feel like you know you want to do a powder, there are a number of great powders. The um, Cogen Cogendo, Cogen. Why can't I speak? Cogendo powder is a, a loose powder is excellent. Sisley has a good one. I mean, there's lots out there, but um, the By Terry for your under eye is my favorite. So I'm going to go with the Hollywood Beauty Light Wand, the highlighter and the contour wand by Charlotte Tilbury. And the reason I like these, couple, there's many reasons, but one of the reasons is ease of use. So basically they're these little squeezy tubes. And I think I mentioned in one of my videos um, about the highlighter, if anyone had the Pillow Talk one, because I have been thinking about getting that. And one of you very nice people told me that you did and you liked it and you thought it would be great on me. And I have forgotten who said that and I apologize, um, but I am going to purchase it. So I will show you how that looks on me when I review it. So I just use this as a contour, contour my nose just a little bit. Again, we're not looking for, we're doing an easy makeup look, gonna be outside, gonna look like a mess by the end of the night anyway, <laughs> but we want to look the least like a mess as possible. Now, maybe some of you out there don't look like a mess at the end of the night at all. Maybe you guys can go outside for nine hours in the heat and humidity and look perfect when you're done. If you do, my hat's off to you. I don't, <laughs> I don't know how you achieve that. Please let me know. Um, I have never been able to do that. For me, you know, out in the heat and humidity after a couple hours, I'm toast. I, I'm, I'm not built for, for that type of weather. So this is the highlighter. I will say that like a cream product uh, in general doesn't have as much uh, longevity. If you put powder down first and then put the cream products over it, I think you'll find you'll have more longevity. I don't do that because again, my skin is drier. If your skin is oilier though, what I would suggest is putting down a powder like the By Terry, if that works for you, or the Cogendo, or the Chanel powder, or Sisley powder, press it into your face, make sure it's well pressed into your face, and then put on the cream products, you'll find that you have a nice glow, and the last longer. This, and I'll show you the product in just a second, is the Tower 28, um, why can I never remember the name? Beach Please. See, it's perfect for whatever you're doing for the fourth. And this shade is just, you know, a great neutral on me. Um, I think you could definitely build it up for deeper skin tones. Um, it is probably the most, quote, neutral of the bunch. So if you have a very deep skin tone, I don't think this would be the shade. There's other shades that might work better for you. Oh, or maybe you like a very, you know, uh, subtle look. That would probably be fine as well. Again, if you put powder down first, this is gonna probably stay with you longer. Um, okay, so next is eyeshadows. And so what I, again, are, am using is a cream product. So Tom Ford has these little pots. Um, cream color for eyes. This one is in Spice. I didn't show you the Tower 28 product. I'm sorry. That's in Magic, the Beach Please Magic Hour. And like I said, it's it's a great product. I did a review of it and I did, um, I did a comparison between that and the Fenty. I like them both, um, but. And the Tom Ford products stay on very well. They are cream, but they blend out very easily. This is Spice. And once they're on your eyes, they're gonna stay there. At least they do for me. Um, I have not found, I have not found there any issues with longevity once they're on there. They dry down and then that's it. And they're kind of hard to get off. Um, 
So there's two different shades that I ha have here today. One is the one I just showed you. The other is the cream and powder, cream and powder eye color. This is the combination. So at the bottom is the cream, and then on the top you have this like sparkly shadow, which is really pretty that you could put on top and make it a little bit more glamorous. So this is a spice. And then this one, the shade is Fleur Neige. I'm sure I screwed that up with a little bit of the shimmer on top. So I think for the purposes of today, I think I'm gonna use the Fleur Neige, which I'm probably getting wrong, but that's okay. Um, so you can, again, you can use your fingers for these things. You can use um, a brush, make sure it's a brush that uh, is um, undyed. I'm just gonna use my finger go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and put the uh, sparkly stuff on top while it's a little bit tacky and just set that in okay so eye look is done I am gonna put on a little bit of eyeliner now this is the Chanel stylo you waterproof long-lasting eyeliner I'm gonna use espresso and I'll show you the shade but these eyeliners guys they stand forever they are great they're really just excellent eyeliners. And in the bottom of the eyeliner is a little sharpener. I don't know if most people ever show anybody that, but in case you're trying to sharpen the line. Because we're doing an outdoor, you know, summery kind of look, we're not doing anything crazy. Although, you know what? If you want to, go for it. Maybe you are doing a red, white, and blue look and you want a flag on your eyelids. If you have that kind of talent, go for it. I could not put a flag on my eyelids. That would not turn out well for me. Um, okay, so mascara. You know what I'm gonna say when it comes to mascara, waterproof mascara. The one that I like is the L'Oreal Waterproof Luminous Mascara. This is a drugstore mascara. You know, it's $12. Nothing is totally waterproof, but this one seems to come close. So let me curl my eyelashes, put the voluminous on, and we'll be right back. Okay, look is done. I'll bring you in a little bit closer so you can see everything and then we'll do lips. It always feels weird when it's this close. I'm just like, wow, it's very close. Okay, so finished look for the most part. Like I said, I'll do lips in a second. If I wasn't talking, this would have taken me five minutes. You put on the sunscreen, rub it in really quick, put it in with a brush or your fingers, whatever you know works best for you. The contour and the highlighter from Charlotte Tilbury, the Tower 8 blush, 28 blush, just pat it in. Same thing with the Tom Ford. And you can use different brands, guys. I, I like the Tom Ford creams for me. Those particular shadows, they go on and they stay on. They do not come off. So, I mean, if you're gonna be outside all day, they work well for me. The Waterproof Mascara, again, I used the uh, L'Oreal Voluminous, the uh, Chanel Stylo Long Lasting Eyeliner, and now you get, and of course, the Under Eye by Terry Pat. Now you get to the point where you're like, okay, what do I do for lips? Okay. So when it comes to lips, nothing in my opinion really stays on all day without coming off. I tend to bite at my lips. It's a bad habit. I've tried to stop. It happens anyway. And even if, you know, even if I didn't, you're eating, you're drinking, you're outside, you're sweating, your, you know, your lips, all those things. There is one product, however, that stays on better than most. And by the end of the day, even outside, there's still color left, which is saying something. So this is the Chanel Duo lip product, and I'll be honest with you, I can't remember the name of it. I will put it in the description below. Um, this is in shade Chic Rosewood, and it looks like this. So it's a double-ended, there's like a gloss on this side and a lips product on this side. So you put the lip product on first. I know this seems counterintuitive because you're like gloss, that's gonna come off. Trust me on this. Okay, and you let it sit there. How long you say let it sit there? I don't have an exact amount of time for you, but you can kind of feel it. It like, it doesn't feel tight, but it starts to feel slightly uncomfortable is the best way I can explain it. 
If you have oilier skin than I do, which is pretty much everyone, maybe it takes longer. On me, it doesn't take that long. I would say maybe a minute, and then it starts to feel like it's sort of tightening up. So I just, you know, wait a minute, and I usually am doing other parts of my makeup or something when I'm using this product. I wanted to leave it for last because it just finishes the look kind of, but a lot of times when I'm using this product, I will do like my cheek products or even my eyebrows and eyes and wait for this to dry down while I'm doing that. So it's really up to you guys, you know, how you want to do it. But you kind of wait a little bit and then you take the gloss and put it over the top. And that's it. That's, that's the difficult part. What happens is, what happens? What happens is at the when you first put it on, it looks like this glossy, you know, you get lip gloss on. And then it sort of dries to what you, I guess, would consider a liquid lipstick, but it's not nearly as dry as a liquid lipstick. I've never, I don't know what's in this stuff. I couldn't tell you. I don't know how it works. I don't know how they did it. I don't know how it works. It doesn't make any sense to me but it works so basically it'll stay on there i mean it won't look this glossy it's gonna look a little bit different as the day goes on but you'll still have color on your lips and it won't hurt your lips or at least it doesn't hurt mine and it stays on for a really long time i i've never experienced another product like it and there are a number of different shades uh i'll put down below how many shades there are in the actual name of the product because it's gone right now i just can't think of it um but again, it's Chanel and it's, it's a miracle. Um, I, I have used this product a number of times when I've had really long days outside, particularly, because inside I'm just like, well, it's no big deal, I'll just reapply my lipstick or whatever. But when I'm outside and it's sweatier and I don't have a lot of time and I'm looking for something easy, that's it. I mean, that is the way to go. So we're almost to the end. I'm gonna use a setting spray. This is the Air Flash, the Dior Air Flash Fair to Light Skin Tones, for obvious reasons. And I don't usually use a setting spray because I don't need one. Um, as we've said a million times, my skin is really dry, so I don't normally use it. This one does seem to work pretty well. I have always been skeptical about setting sprays because my thought is always like, well, how much of a barrier can it really create? You know, I mean, it's, it's how much can it really do? And I still believe that. I think, you know, depending on the elements that you're dealing with, there's only so much it can do. But I do like the way this looks. It does, in my opinion, blur things. It does seem to keep the makeup longer and it smells nice. It's like, like fuzz on your face for a moment, but <laughs> it does give a nice airbrushed look to everything. So, I mean, I do, I do like the way it looks. So there's the quick, easy summer look. Hopefully will last outside against the elements, whether that's humidity and high temperatures or, you know, whatever the case may be. Um, Am I gonna say this is completely sweat proof? No, I will not tell you that. There are products on the market that will say they're meant for like the pool, like, like literally you can go in the water. Those types of things, yes. And I do not have any of those. I do not, I don't go swimming with my makeup on. Um, but there are products on the market if you're really concerned about it that, that are you know water resistant or waterproof. Um, but for the most part, average makeup that you're going to pick up in the store is just going to be better at resisting humidity and sweat uh, and those types of things than others. And these products work well for me. Again, if you have really oily skin, I really would suggest though, before using these cream products, after your foundation, whatever it happens to be, press some really good powder into your skin, um, something that's going to take up that excess oil, and then put the cream products over it. You're going to get, um, you're going to get a better lasting product. And I think it'll, it'll work well for people who have 
you know, oilier skin types. For me, that step would be a mistake because it would just make my dry skin look drier, regardless of the powder. So that's it today, guys. I wanted to make this quick and easy. Have a wonderful 4th of July. There's a lot of new uh, videos coming up. I've been trying to put together a black owned beauty video for quite some time. I had a number of great products, but the majority of them were Fenty and Pat McGrath. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but I wanted to expand my horizons a little bit. And so I ordered a bunch of different products and because they you know, were sold out or back ordered, it has taken quite a bit of time to get them. Um, and I wanted to do something that was more diverse. So I do have some of the products now, which is great. And so that video will be coming soon. I'll be doing an out of my comfort zone, uh, Dior. There's a whole bunch of new things. So July should be interesting. And I'm gonna try to, to buy a little less in July, maybe a low buy, if you will. Uh, we'll see how that goes. So thanks again for joining me as always. If, if you could hit like, if you'd hit subscribe, that would be awesome. It does help grow the channel. And there'll be, uh, as I said, new things coming your way soon. Thanks so much. Have a great day. Bye-bye.